All right. So we're on the computer. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to uh, epson.com. Homepage. All right, support for printers. Search for the XP fifteen thousand. Oh, there we go. It's a uh, XP. So there we go. All right, we're gonna download the drivers uh, in a uh, utilities combo package. We don't need to refer to cover. Okay. We'll just Alright, so I'm gonna just run through this. Install the drivers. Accept. I don't need this. I don't need the user guide. I'm not participating. Um, I'm only going to install the drivers and utilities. Next, uh, we're going to use a uh, direct uh, USB, and I actually need to turn my printer on, so one sec. All right, plug it in. We're good. All right. So we'll push next. Oh. Damn, I uh, we're not going to print a test page because the uh, printer hasn't been uh, set up yet. So we're just going to press next. I'll go through that later. Exit registration. All right. All right. So now that's installed. Next thing we're going to do is go here to ink chip. Spell the wrong. So now we're gonna go here. Uh, we're gonna get software. And we're gonna look for the XP 15,000 right here. We're gonna download the activation for the firmware. And the activation. here let's go and open this show and folder
got on this low. Okay. Extract that. All right, so now that's extracted, let's go ahead and open it up. And so we're going to go here to the firm firmware. Let's go ahead and click on it, open it up. All right. So make sure your printer is still connected. Um, the best way to do it is the USB connection. All right, and then I'm just going to go through here. Uh, I'm going to read it real quick, you know. Um, and then press next and next again. All right. And then you should see your, uh, printer down here and then the connection type we're using the USB, uh, status, new version. Um, the firmware is, uh, the 20 something, 20, uh, 0.42. So this should change after we update. All right. So go and press start. Proceed with the firmware update. So it's probably going to freeze around like probably 99%. Um, it may not get to 100%. But if it does freeze, uh, that's, that's fine. Or if you get like an error, um, when it gets to... Uh, like 90, 90 something percent, you're good. Uh, just go ahead and press cancel and then you should see the new uh, software, a new version. So. But uh, this part might take a little bit. I'm gonna eat while I'm... I'll cut this part out, but I'm gonna eat.
fucking up. All right, so we finished. All right, so you may get this error. Don't press retry, just go next. And then finish. All right, next after that. go back here open up the activation more info run anyways all right so once you download the the firmware you also then need to go and purchase an activation key which you would go through where is it right here it's it's, a, it's at the top so you would just purchase one of these and then add the card go through the process and then you'll receive a uh, activation code. So I already have one. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and copy it. It'll look something like that and you'll get it in your email. Um, so make sure your uh, printer is hooked up, the one you want to do. Um, if you use the wrong printer, they won't give you another one. All right. So go ahead and uh, push, uh, paste, paste the code in there or activate online. And then there you go. That's where you put it. So, okay. All right. So we got a success. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Supposed to be recovery code, so I'll just keep that for later. Right, save that. Bam, bam, bam. All right, now the printer is now uh, chipless, and you can go ahead and uh, insert your uh, DTF cartridges into the printer. Go through your uh, initiation process, which I'll show you. Uh, in the next video and then your printer is fully converted um, at this point um, yeah so that's pretty much it thanks for watching uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, uh, any comments you know just leave them below thanks for watching